Welcome back to Kearsarge Chronicle. I'm Sean Bowman, and with me today is Alan Davis from HR Clough. Alan, you've been in uh, you've been in business for 70 years. What do you attribute that to? Um, well, definitely, uh, there's a couple things. The the people that we uh, that we employ obviously are the the reason that we've been in business as long as we have. Obviously, the the customer base that we uh, that we serve uh, is a is an integral part. But uh, definitely, the people we we try to find and uh, hire and train and keep. Um, you know, excellent people, uh, people that are um, uh, take pride in their work and, and care for other people's property just like they would their own. And uh, I think that's, you know, that, that's probably um, a huge part of it. And obviously, thanks, thanks to all the customers that have kept us going for 70 years. And, and uh, it's been a good uh, family tradition for us. And, and uh, we've, uh, uh, we've, we've managed to stay up with the times. That's, it. that's probably another key ingredient is, uh, you know, things have changed. Uh, both in business and in the in our fuel industry and heating industry over the years and uh, we you know we've managed to uh, stay up with the times and keep people um, educated on all the new things and highly efficient systems and and uh, changing times that way so now besides heating oil what else does uh, HR Clough do? Uh, we do um, full heating and cooling design installation and, and service um, all different types of things uh, we do some alternative energy uh, systems as well, uh, solar, geothermal, uh, and wind. Uh, wind is, is kind of a new thing for us. We haven't done a lot with it, but it's available to, uh, to us and, and to our customer base. And, uh, uh, but basically, uh, all the, uh, the services that you could expect from, uh, uh, you know, from a, an, an HVAC company, a heating and cooling company, uh, we can provide, and uh, we do a very good job at it. Uh, um, Basically, because of the people that we that we uh, keep and uh, and train. Uh, I hear you've uh, you've just taken on a new product. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah, we've been we've been delivering uh, fuel oil for for 70 years, and and about five or six years ago, we got into the uh, uh, we we kind of delved into uh, the uh, gas installation business and and uh, started installing and servicing gas systems, and the our customer base um, kind of asked for uh for us to to to, to keep going in that vein they, they like the the uh, it's a very versatile product propane and uh they kind of asked us to to uh, go in that direction if we could and uh we've decided to to uh to go into propane delivery and we're, we're uh probably a, a couple months into it now and and uh, uh setting tanks and and uh and it's it's working out well what is your service area um we we cover basically uh, a 30 mile radius of, of Warner and Kentuckook, um, go up into the lakes, uh, the uh, Lake Sunapee region, the, uh, uh, down to the Concord area, uh, over as far as uh, um, Ware and um, Henniker Hillsboro on that side. Uh, so if you drew a, like a 30 mile radius around Warner, Popkinen, um, pretty much anybody in that, this, I think we do 27 cities and towns we service now. You talked about your staff earlier. What sort of uh, what sort of training do they have to go through? Yeah, we we try to what we try to do is uh, we try to find people that not are not necessarily from our industry, but a lot of uh, second um, second generation uh, uh, career people, if you will, second career people, uh, where they've already done something and maybe several things before. Um, look for obviously like everybody does. Look for a good work ethic in in, in, a, in an individual, but. Um, obviously, um, customer service is, is a huge thing for us. We try to um, keep our customers in the loop as far as everything that goes on from the, uh, from the delivery of the products that we do to, uh, to just going in and servicing their equipment. And we'll, we'll uh, answer questions and, and, uh, and, our, and our guys are all uh, very comfortable with, with explaining how things work and, and as much as the uh, as the customer needs to uh, or wants to know, uh, they will explain to them, and that's something that we we kind of take pride in. We we make the customer part of the whole situation, and if they don't want to be part of the situation, <laughs> we don't bore them with all the details. But uh, but most people do. They'd like to know a little bit more about what they what's going on, and and uh, we train all the time. Our guys are always going to school somewhere, doing something. In fact, I have two guys in in school right now for. Uh, uh, for generator service, that's another thing that we do. Another service that we offer is in, uh, install uh, standby generator systems, and they're in school right now for that. So, uh, what else do you offer besides energy-related products? Absolutely, yeah. We, 
um, probably, I think it's been about five, six years, I think now ago, we, uh, uh, I'd always wanted to do something different and I had some space in my property down in Kentuckook and um, I did a little bit of research and found out that um, one thing that, uh, that we could do that would kind of dovetail a little bit with, with part of our business was uh, a car wash. Uh, we already had the plumbing uh, and, and that type of skills uh, to, to understand how things worked and uh, they do use a fair amount of energy to, to power them because most of the car washing goes on in the winter time so that has to, everything has to be heated so um, that was a, that was kind of right up our alley as well so we we started that six years ago and uh, we have a fully automatic car wash and self-service car wash and truck and RV wash as well and that's right in our yard and at 76 Pine Street in Kentucky. And um, a couple of years ago, uh, my wife had, had seen some, um, uh, seen a, a, a new thing at, a, at one of the car wash shows we went to, and it was a dog wash. And uh, we'd heard a little bit about self-serve dog washes, and we looked into it a little bit. And, and finally, she kind of twisted my arm and said, let's give it a shot. And we had some space in, our, in one of our buildings down there by the car wash. And so we put it in, uh, I, think, I think it's been operational about four months, four or five months now. And it's doing very well. The people that have used it absolutely love it. And um, our motto uh, for the car wash is your car will love it. And now the motto for the dog wash is your dog will love it. And so far, every dog has gone in there has absolutely loved it. Clean dog's a happy dog. Clean dog's a happy dog and a happy owner, too. <laughs> exactly. Once again, something wonderful is happening in the Kearsarge area. Back to you.